Hello, Libra. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 1st of May. The week begins with the sun still in the passionate eighth house. This is your opportunity to transform elements of your situation. This may mean that some will come to a close, but new positive strands can replace them. And when it comes to exchanges this week, these can be very bright and vivacious, as Uranus, the planet of surprises, continues alongside Mercury, the planet of communications. Now, of course, Mercury has been tracking backwards, but by Wednesday starts to go forwards again, which is going to see us all breathe a sigh of collective relief. But for you, it is still possible that something sudden can happen around a relationship situation. You may decide you want to create some space or liberty from a person who seems to be a bit oppressive or doesn't necessarily agree with some of your ideas. With Venus, your ruler, now back in this zone, you could pour diplomacy into the situation. But on Monday and Tuesday, it could feel that even if you do, it always seems that you're the one who's investing a bit more in this situation than you're getting back from it. The quarter moon, which occurs on Wednesday, also throws up a cautionary note. Now, this is in your sector of friendships and sociability, but its angle to the sun suggests that if there are undercurrents of possessiveness or jealousy about the future of a relationship or around a group involvement you have, and it just seems to be a little bit, well, limiting for you, I feel this can be a time when you may decide to just separate yourself and go with the people who are bright, fresh, challenging, but in a positive way, who switch on your mentality and are fun to be with, perhaps even some novel characters too. By the end of this week, the sun is, however, forging a very important link with Pluto. Pluto is about transformation, but it can also be about elimination. And over the last, well, since 2008, he has been working through a part of your scope that's to do with your emotions, your family, and where you live. Now, if something's shaping up positively in these areas, a giant step forward can be taken this week, as the week draws to a close. But there is a bit of a trickster influence in the background, and this sees Mars in the part of your scope that's very much to do with uh, adventurism and an individuality. Well, that's clashing with Neptune, which is very much to do with your responsibilities and obligations in the sixth solar house. And this could muddle your thinking a little bit and see you more indecisive than you'd like to be. Trying to balance what's right for you and what might be right for someone else. But at the end of the day, we can only really be responsible for ourselves, however uh, aware and sensitive we might be to the people that we know. And I think the angle between Sun and Pluto is so potent, and so powerful, it could see a major transformation occur. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.